Hey guys, this is Nina Perez and this is Memoirs of a Fat Girl going from FAT to PHAT in real time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time we come up with a new recipe or something fun on there. I have experts come on this show. We do our boot camp and exercise segments on there so that you can see what it is to go through in real time becoming physically healthy and terrific or pretty healthy and terrific from FAT, right? As this is my journey. I have about 80 pounds to lose. I have started this journey, I think it was like February or March. I have since lost about 17 inches. Not too much weight though. I am a woman over my 40s and so therefore I do struggle with now premenopause and all this great stuff, which I am trying to get under control with a naturopath and so on and trying to eat right. So today I wanted to share a really fun recipe with you and it is a braised leeks recipe and I am going to um, take these leeks, I am going to cut them in half, we're going to cook them a little bit and I will show you what all of that looks like. We're going to cover it with a beautiful vinaigrette and some crumbled gargonzola. It's like a French dish, I'm just changing it a little bit. In France they boil the leeks. I want to braise them. Um, I just like the flavor. So um, this is a leek. It usually comes with very long stalks and you're going to cut off all the main green and the root, right? So keep the root, uh, cut it really close to the root because you kind of want to keep that there so it holds everything together. And then cut some of this green off because this is really hard and it's very hard to eat. Cut a little sliver and you are going to then expose some of these outer leaves. Because leeks are grown in sand, they pour sand over them as they're, cook, as they're um, growing them. And so you get a little bit of a sand residue in there. But if you take the, the, the leaves as much to the white or the stalk as you can and peel off the layers, you should be pretty good. So this is what they look like. They're in the onion family. They smell so good. If you haven't tried leeks, please try them. You will love it, okay? So these are already cut and cleaned. I am going to straighten up here a little bit and start cooking them for you so you can see what this looks like. All right, guys, so now we got the pan heated up and we are going to put in some melted ghee. I have some ghee here. This is a ghee and coconut blend. And I am just going to use, you can use butter if you like, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever you want to sear in. We're going to put them cut side down, okay? I don't know if you can hear that. But we are going to put these bad boys upside down so that they can start cooking and getting that nice caramel colorization on there. And, um, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Do you see that? That smells so good. Look at that. So we're going to let that cook in there for just a few moments. And then while that is cooking, I had a little uh, chicken broth. So I have some chicken broth here that we are going to use. And that's how you get braising. Braising is basically a little less water to boil your product. It's more like a steam water going on, right? So we're going to get let this braise and I'll be right back. All right, so it only it's very short. It only takes a few minutes. As it takes a few minutes, see, it's gonna get that nice caramel color. We're gonna let them sit a little bit longer. There we go, see that? Very nice. So we're gonna take that and flip those over. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys can smell Oh, it smells amazing, amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. Guys, don't forget to go onto my website. And when you go on my website, there are all this little great merchandise that has a bunch of things. You can customize, put your own name on there. You can do so much. So make sure you go on there, visit us at memoirsofafactorial.live slash shop. And then you can go ahead and just go shopping and get some stuff for yourself, okay? I also have a journal that just came out. It's a food journal, and it's to help you. You get all of your measurements in the beginning. You write your intentions for the day. You write what you're grateful for. Then you write everything that you're going to eat that day, um, whether you worked out or not, how much water intake, and then at the end it asks you 
how did you feel about your progress today? How was it and what could you change, right? Then you do 120 days of that. And at the end of the book is all your measurements and everything. Again, it's to help you along with your journey. It's not just about your body, right? It's about your mind too. What are you grateful for? What are your intentions? That is super important because this is a health journey. This is not just a one thing. It's not a one-off. I've done that all of my life and that's why I changed my way of doing it this time. When this starts to braise on the other side and get that nice color as well, this chicken broth goes right in but not all the way. You're only gonna go about halfway up the product, okay? You're gonna just turn up the heat a tad bit. This is only gonna take about six minutes or so. That's it, it takes about six minutes and then you'll be done. I'm gonna, if I could turn this back on, hold on. All right, let's see. There we go. All right, so about six minutes on a medium heat. This is covered. Those are gonna be beautiful and tender. We're gonna pull those out. We're gonna let them cool a little bit and as they cool, we're gonna make a vinaigrette. So we're gonna make a vinaigrette as this is cooling down. So let's cook these for about six minutes and I'll be right back. All right guys, it's been about six to seven minutes. Uh, we have been letting this braise and as I told you, braising is just using a little less liquid to cook your uh, food instead of like a boil, right? You can boil these. I wouldn't boil them cut in half, I would boil them whole, and I would maybe even use a little bit of twine or some rope or something so they don't fall apart on you. See how delicate they are? They fall apart, right? So we're just gonna put these on here, and I'm actually gonna save this liquid because this liquid would be amazing to make like rice or uh, quinoa or something like that. You can use the leek broth, which is Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and pile this on here and we are gonna let these cool down, okay? So we're gonna let this cool and while we're letting those cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes, I am going to save that because that is delicious. So we are going to now go ahead and make a vinaigrette. So I'm gonna move this to the side here. Okay, so in here I'm gonna make a quick vinaigrette and it's gonna be, um, well, basically all the ingredients that you would need for a really good red wine vinaigrette. And that's what I'm going to make for this. I'm going to use a little tarragon because I had some and some salt and pepper and a little allulose. So give it a little bit of sweetness, but I didn't want to use sugar. I mean, you can use sugar. I just didn't want to do that. So um, we're going to go ahead and put in here. Why don't we put, let's do this first. Let's do our, gar our um, Dijon mustard. Make sure you get it all out. I will leave the measurements for all of this on the bottom for you. Oh my gosh, you can smell that Dijon, it's so strong. A um, little bit of olive oil. It's about three tablespoons I think I use. A uh, little bit of vinegar. And the good thing is, is that, um, sorry, there's some herbs that just, getting all these herbs flying in here because I have um, some tarragon and stuff and I'm using herb for some other recipes. So this is a little bit of tarragon, garlic, about two cloves, lemon juice. Put the rest of this little olive oil, stick it in here. And a little allulose, like I said, salt and pepper. So just a little bit. And that is it. That is your vinaigrette, okay? And this vinaigrette is gonna go over the leeks once the leeks cool a little bit, okay? So we're gonna put this to the side. Make sure I don't need any more. It's like perfect. Okay, that's gonna go to the side and that is how quick and easy that recipe was. I've been trying to give you guys some quick go-to recipes that you can make very, very quickly. That vinaigrette is gonna go over your leeks over that, we're gonna put some really good gargonzola. And on, on top of that, we're gonna just put in some walnuts, some chopped walnuts. You can toast the walnuts as well because that's gonna be delicious, especially if it's toasted. So you can use it toasted as well. I did not toast these. Um, I keep all my nuts in the freezer so that they don't go bad. But this is it, this is it. This is going to be your braised, beautiful leeks. Look at those. Oh, 
I just wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now. It is so good. And then you're gonna take, we'll just do it now because I don't wanna have to have you wait. We're gonna take this beautiful vinaigrette and just put a little tiny bit over the top. And you can use as little and as much as you like. And I'm just gonna do that right now for preference because I don't know if my husband's gonna like it so strong. So a little bit of gorgonzola, which this is a really, really great gorgonzola that I found at Whole Foods. And then on top of that is going to be a little bit of chopped walnuts. Oops, this one's whole. Look at that, look, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and that is going to go with a shrimp dish that i am making so don't miss that recipe i'm gonna make a shrimp dish and a homemade chimichurri to go on to the shrimp there are these big shrimp that i found and i wanted to make those today with this leek so thank you so much for watching please make sure that you subscribe to our channel click click like and click the little bell notification that you get notified every single time we do a recipe every time i have an expert on here every time i'm doing boot camp you can keep up with the community and you can actually go on to fat girl club on facebook and ask to be requested to be put into our group and there we just post a whole bunch of fun things and we talk to each other all the time about what our challenges are and what we're overcoming and what we need to do and if there's any recipes people like and things and so on. So this community is growing and I hope that you become a part of it. Again, this is Nina Perez and this is Memoirs of a Fat Girl going from FAT to PHAT in real time. Until next time.